Good morning. As many of you may be aware, it is not an easy path to become a pastor in the Presbyterian Church. You must first complete three years of graduate school, a theological seminary. Then you must complete five ordination exams. And then the final step is to stand before the presbytery that sponsored your seminary studies and answer questions on Bible and theology. Some many years ago in South Carolina, there was a young man who had completed his theological studies and with excellence. He had completed his five ordination exams also with excellence. And now the final thing that remained was for him to stand in the pulpit of a church that looked very similar to this church in that it had glass windows down the side just as this one has. The first person to ask the question stood up from the congregation and said, look out the window and answer this question. Do you see anyone? The young man standing in the pulpit looked out the window and he said, no, sir, I see no one out the window. The one asking the question said, then continue to look out the window and let us know when you see someone. The whole presbytery was quiet. Where is this man going with his question? The man in the pulpit continued to gaze out the window, and then finally he saw another young man about his age walking down the street. And so he declared to the presbytery, there is someone now walking down the street. The one asking the question then proceeded, describe him to all of us theologically. Give us a theological description of the person you see walking down the street. The man who asked the question would later tell a friend that he said, whenever I ask this question of someone who wants to be ordained, I generally get one of two answers. The first answer I get is, I see a person who, whether they know it or not, is a sinner and needs the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. That's answer one. The second answer that he generally gets is, I see a person who, whether they know it or not, is deeply loved by God. The one who asked the question says, both answers, of course, are correct. But I have found from my own experience that the candidates for ordination who give the second answer, I see someone, whether they know it or not, is deeply loved by God, they make the better pastors and they experience the greatest joy in ministry. For those who give the other answer, their ministry is all about putting people in boxes and categories and judging them if they step out of the box. They focus on the sin of the membership of their church, but the other focuses on building a relationship between the member and God. It is those who sees everyone is a child of God that is the better pastor. In the book of John, in the New Testament, we have a story of a woman who's caught in adultery, and she is brought before Jesus Christ. And the Pharisees, the religious leaders of the day, who catch her in the very act of adultery, they see her as a sinner. They present her to God in Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ looks at the same woman and he sees a person who is loved by God. The question for all of us is what kind of Christian are we? When we look at another person, do we see someone who is a sinner in the need of the saving love of Jesus Christ? Or do we see someone who is deeply loved by God? Your answer makes a difference in how you will behave toward that individual. Thank you.